Okie dokie. In this problem, they say, which of the following pairs, G and H, satisfy G of H of X? So this is G of H of X, and they give you options. Uh, you know, and one of these options could actually form this G of H of X. So what does this mean? We're trying to find the H and G for which when H is plugged into the function G, we get this function as a result. So I would say maybe do a little trial and error and then see which possible options could make sense. Sometimes you can do this just by looking at them. Other times you might have to actually kind of try it out and maybe work it out a little bit. So I'm going to just do like a rough go through of every single one plugging H into G because H is our inside function. So we're plugging it into G. So G of X is originally 7X minus 3, but with H plugged in, it would be 7 times 1 over 4X minus 9 minus 3. So my question, I guess, would be, could this ever be simplified to this? And my answer would be no, because right away, if we multiplied 7 times that fraction, the 7 would end up being on top. So 7 over 4x minus 9, and then minus 3. And so I guess the main thing I would look for in this is in the final answer, we have 7 times 4 on the bottom. But in this case, 7 and 4 didn't get pushed next to each other, multiplied by each other um, at all. So hopefully that's enough to be like A is out of here. Let's give it another shot, or let's try uh, option B here. So if we're plugging H into the function G, what do you notice? That's right. There's no X in the function G to plug H of X into. So G of H of X... Since g is always just 1, g of h of x would also equal 1. So that definitely cannot be the combination of g, g and h. So now let's try option c here. Let's spread out a little bit. We're plugging in h of x into the function g. So g is 1 over 7 times x minus 3. So 4x minus 9. Okay, so we might have a contender here because we see a 7 times a 4 in the denominator, just like the original one has, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, actually, let me go ahead and work it out. So let's see if we just multiplied some things out, if it could possibly work out. So let me also multiply this out first. So multiplying the denominator out in the original one, we get 28x minus 21. 7 times 4, and then 7 times negative 3, right? So now uh, down here, let's expand this and see if the two denominators match. We get 28x minus 7 times 9 is 63, and then minus 3 on top of that. That's going to give us negative 66. So it's very close. We had the 28x, but the original one had negative 21. This has negative 66. So this also cannot work out. So it's pretty close, but not quite. Okay, let's try option D, plugging in h of x in place of x here, 1 over 7x minus 3 minus 9, so this is g of x with h plugged in. Again, if we multiplied the 4 to this fraction, the 4 would just end up on top, nowhere near the, set. like it's not being multiplied by the 7 like it is in the original function, so I don't think this could be a contender either. So E must be our answer. Let's work it out. Plugging in H into the function G, 7X minus 3. Again, if we expand the denominator, I'm going to do that down here. We get 1 over 28X minus 12 minus 9. Minus 12 minus 9 gives us minus 21. And this ends up matching the original one we had up here, 1 over 28x minus 21. So that's kind of a doozy. I don't know if this is a hard version of this problem, but there's an example. Let's see if we can do two more a little bit quicker. All right. So here, they present it slightly differently. They say g of h of x like this, but all this means is g of h of x just like that. So if we just rewrite this like that, it'll make it a little bit easier visually in my opinion because we can see that h of x is the inside function still and g of x is on the outside so 
if we were to plug in this function here, h into g, let's try option A. Let's see, I might try, I might try something. If we can do this without kind of working it out, if I can talk it through, maybe we can speed up this process. So if we multiplied, or if we plug this into this x here, I want you to kind of visualize what would happen. I'm gonna write it out for this one, but maybe not for all of them. So like when we plug in, 1 over 2 minus 7x into the function g, the 3 here never gets multiplied by the 7 because they're not on the same level. What would happen is the negative 3 would go to the numerator, and the negative 3 and negative 7 would never multiply by each other to get this 21. So I see that 21 in the original or in the like desired outcome, and I realize this function could never make that happen. So we can eliminate that option. Okay, again, we're looking for a case where the three and the seven could actually get multiplied together. So let's imagine this. If, th if this is plugged into this x, the negative three would get multiplied by that negative seven. So that might be a possible option. Let's keep going through them, through them though. So let's put a check mark there. How about this one? If h of x here is plugged into this x, Negative 7 would get multiplied by negative 3. So that's a contender. Let's try this one. If this is plugged into this, it's when they're on different levels, right? If negative 7 and negative 3 are in, like, one's in a numerator, one's in a denominator, that's when it's not going to work out, right? And then this case was like the last one. We have g of x equals 1. So this plugged in here just doesn't do anything. G of x, g of h of x would just equal 1. So... Let's try B and C and see which one actually works out. So 1 over negative 3 times x minus 4. And then let's try C as well, or at least write it out. So 1 over 2 minus 7 times x, or 2 minus 7 times negative 3x minus 4. All right, working out this one. Let me bring them down here, actually, so we have space. This first one, negative 3 distributed here and here. We get negative 6 plus 21x minus 4. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. Okay. And then up here, or down here, we have 1 over 2 plus 21x. So negative 3 times negative, uh, sorry, negative 7 times negative 3x. Negative 7 times negative 4. We get plus 21x plus 28. So 2 plus 28 is 30. So which one of these matches the original? The original had a minus 10 in it, and this one has the minus 10. So B <laughs> is our answer here. All right, let's see if I have a chance of doing this one in the allotted time. We're picking up kind of on a pattern here, so maybe we can narrow it down to two options that'll work and then try those, okay? So plugging this, uh, let's, so it is still g of h of x, so I'm curious if that's the same every time. So we're plugging h into g, so this into here. The negative 8 would be multiplied by the 5, so it, there is an option of getting a 40 down there, a negative 40. Okay, so that's a contender. If we plug in this in place of this x, they're on different levels, right? The 5 is in a denominator while the 8 is not, the negative 8 is not, so we eliminate that. If we plug this into that, the 5 would be multiplied by the 8 because you're multiplying it right here, right? So that's a contender. And then this is our just g of x equals 1 or negative 1. That's, you know, not going to work. And then this one again, they're on different levels. 5 would not be multiplied by this negative 8 because it's in a denominator. So we eliminate that. So that's kind of the pattern is narrowed down to these two and then try each of them out to see which one makes sense. So I'm gonna try just one in this case, and if it matches, we're done. If it doesn't match, the answer must be the other one, right? So one over negative eight x minus five, but in place of x, we're plugging in five x plus six. Let's work this out. One over, distribute the negative eight, negative 40 x minus 48 for eight times five, and then negative eight times, six right and then minus five so negative 48 minus five 
is negative 53. I feel like I remember that in the answer. Let's see. Yeah, so we have a 53. So the 53 will hopefully give it away, but just to talk about what they've done is they've distributed, or sorry, factored out. They factored out the negative from both the negative 40x and the minus 53. So if they factor out a negative, it becomes positive 40x plus 53. So that negative they factored out just kind of goes out in front, and they have it like that. So A is our answer, just like that. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions on these please let me know they're a little weird i understand but if you have any trouble let me know hope this video helped all right